In a renewal attempt to abide to the Arusha agreements and bring peace to South Sudan, five former detainees returned from exile to Juba on Monday, June 1st. The move aims to reunify South Sudan's disintegrated ruling party, the Sudan's People's Liberation Movement, SPLM, and to save the country from collapse. A call Cordit appreciates the former detainees for their willingness to bring peace to South Sudan. He further says it is only through dialogue that peace can be brought to South Sudan. The only way and the only road to peace in South Sudan is dialogue, reconciliation and forgiveness. It is only through peaceful means can we achieve a solution to the current crisis. Violence and confrontation serve no purpose. South Sudan is above all of us. South African Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa, who accompanied the former detainees to Juba as a mediator in the unification of the SPLS, says the aim of the visit was to speed the Arusha process in uniting the three fractions of the ruling party. He asked the parties involved in the conflict to realize that war is meaningless. Building peace in South Sudan is the only way out. There is no other option. War is not an alternative, and we would like all parties who are involved, all stakeholders, to realize that war is not the answer. The answer is peace. The team led by the former Cabinet Affairs Minister, Deng Alor Kuol, says they came to work with President Salva Kiir and members of his administration. A lot of stresses that fighting has to come to an end immediately. Unification, reunification of SPLM is a very, a very noble objective, but in itself, it's not enough. You need to stop the war. You need to stop the war uh, because if SPLM is reunited and the war is still raging on then I think that will serve very little purpose to the people of South Sudan. The people of South Sudan desperately await the day peace will return finally to South Sudan. Many are tired of endless negotiation bearing no tangible results. For the Niles, I am Simon Bingo in Juba.